Alrighty, this old Bowens has been one pain here for the last month, I guess. I got this thing uh, lined out there for a while, I thought it was, and then it quit firing. So I took and changed the, the coil on it, and then that worked, and then the thing got to where it's smoking to beat the band and everything. So I changed the motor, put a different motor on, had a different motor, and uh, that thing didn't run very good. So I had to have one more motor. And this motor here came off of a bond where I bought, and it was had been on fire. That gas had melted out the carburetor and uh, and caught the carburetor on fire. Absolutely burnt the carburetor beyond use. So I bought it from a guy pretty reasonable, and uh, then when I took the motor off that other motor and put it on this one, and that's when I discovered that it was having a problem. It was blowing gas out the carburetor, something awful, and. Uh, I thought, well, it must be an intake valve, and so I cleaned and adjusted and everything I could think of on them valves or which way, and nothing helped. So I got to thinking, well, maybe maybe somebody had it apart, because I hadn't ever had this apart, to see if maybe the, the timing was off on it or something. And lo and behold, down here, the uh, when I looked at this timing mark, you can't see this Mickey Mouse camera, but down here, right across from that hole, of course, that's where the uh, timing mark on the cam cog is. And then there's a, this little tooth, like I said, you, you won't be able to see it, but it's uh, kind of cut off there. And that's the corresponding one on the crankshaft uh, cog there. Well, anyway, when I looked at the thing, there was five teeth off. So no wonder it didn't run very good. So I'm going to put it back together. If it don't work this time, I I, might, I don't know what I'll do with it. I mean, I like these old mowers. They're stout, very stout. But And it's got a Tecumseh engine. Typically, I don't like Tecumseh. They're, uh, they are uh, usually a pain. But now these big ones, these old cast iron, heavy-duty things, I mean... I really haven't never had any problem till this this last couple three weeks, maybe a month. So I'm gonna give this thing a try. But so in case you ever wonder why they're spitting gas out the carburetor, and if it ain't a, if it ain't an intake valve or something way out of adjustment, then maybe somebody has pulled off this side cover and overhauled it or something, then put the timing back wrong. I am surprised that it ran with five teeth out, but it did. You had to really choke the carburetor to get it to go by hand, you know, and then. Uh, finally, after a while, it'd sputter and go, and it would run, but hell, it had no power hardly, you know, and I thought, well, that sure don't seem right about this, and it didn't smoke, as far as that is, it didn't smoke at all, but in any case, that's, that's the gist of this thing here, uh, the timing was way off, and I don't know, you can't see it down there, but the timing mark is right now, but, so I'm going to give it a try and see what happens, and uh, if I have any more problems, I might go ahead and let everybody know, but otherwise, it's a... Uh, it's finally gotten me pretty easy to take the motor off. I left half the bolts out. There ain't no sense, but I, I would put a zipper on it, but uh, I don't know if I can find one that's stout or not. Alrighty, that's enough for this little escapade, so talk to you later. Bye.